happy to have these two students with us and I feel so privileged they have been working in so many places, in so many parishes and institutions. And indeed we are thanking God for them and it is their property today that they had the ordination a few years ago on this very same day. So we thank God for the gift of these two jubilees to the diocese and we take this opportunity to pray for them. We also pray for the parents who have given them generously to the church. We pray for the family members who are also present here today to celebrate this jubilee. We welcome the Archbishop who will be also giving the homily for this holy mass. We welcome all the priests, the sisters, the brothers, the family members, the well-wishers, our friends, and also our people from uh, who will be representing their relatives who are here today to, to join this celebration. So we are indeed very, very happy today as we celebrate this, this holy mass. We shall ask God to bless these two jubilees. For the either is still working in the parish as the parish priest of uh, Maupram Parish, and Father uh, Francis Karamandan is uh, residing now in John 23rd, uh, John 23rd Clergy Home. We are indeed happy to have them as we have said, and therefore we take this opportunity today to pray for them so that the Lord will continue to bless them, that the Lord grant them good health in mind and body, and they continue to be in the diocese to work and also to pray for the diocese. So now I request for the Edwin to begin this holy mass.
The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him, in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to be sent. He said to them, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I am sending you out like lambs among woods. Carry no purse, no hammer sack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first purse be. Peace to this house. All the relatives and friends, their fathers, brothers, sisters, why an honorable Bahia greeting to you all. It is a joy for me and for all of us here who have come together to thank God for the gift of these two priests, for I admit to him for Francis Kamana, who celebrate today Golden Jubilee of their priestly ordination. Both the priests, I know them very well. They work in many parishes and institutions. Later on, you may hear bring the facilitation of them. I know Father Edwin, I had during my holy days time in Baban Parish. It was a great joy to work with all of them for a short period of time. During Father Francis Kamanan, I was ordained a priest in 1987, January 25th, morning. so I am very grateful to him for preparing to do my ordination. So both the fathers, they work very hard. What is the place in the me, cutting up the old t-shirt, and breaking up, breaking up here. You have to get a out of getting a yard, but you to me. Do I have a see of the Lord of the same before it's in large room? I can learn what you can do pray to solve the journey. You get part of the crime. Father Edwin Kahit and Father Francis Karwana, the two jubilarians on this auspicious day, we greet you. We are privileged to celebrate your day. Fifty years ago, both of you were ordained on this day at various places in the Archdiocese. Dear fathers, brothers, sisters, friends, well wishers, and especially to the family members of our fathers, we have joined together in the celebration of the Holy Eucharist to thank God for the gift of priesthood. Now we would like to continue with this short felicitation program. First of all, Father Edwin Kahit was born on 12 May 1946 in Maulai, in Jayur, and ordained 50 years ago on this same day. He has worked in many missions and places, either as assistant parish priest, as assistant parish priest, he has worked in Damra, Marbisu, Nursla, Kriya, Cathedral, Unsalan, Mokhar, St. Paul's Parish, Koshulam. As parish priest, he has work in Mausuram, Mairam, Laban, Maubri, Umsling, Lightmukot, Wala, Cathedral, Manursla, and currently in Mokbrem. It's a long list which uh, we have just to, to appreciate that
that you have been able to work in so many places. At this very moment, I would like to invite Father Edwin Kahit to speak to us in a few words. So, the day of Father Francis, this is why I thank this priest in the day. Council, Council Manda to organize this uh, day to come together to thank God for the 50 years of our busy life. <coughs> motto of my ordination, motto is I can do with him to strengthen me. Philippians. 413. These are the words that I always meet in. And if I am here in 50 years as a priest, because God is always with me. And so the good support I get from our brother priest. Sleep from our superiors, and so with the faithful. All the parishes I have gone and worked together, really a uh, good, uh, good, uh, good uh, cooperation. If you ask me, Father, from this parishes, which is the best parish for me, all are the best. All are the best. People always cooperate with us. That's, uh, that's why now we can, we can, we are so happy. Then I say, I, I am so happy to be a priest. Though it's so many mistakes I made up and down out there. But even there, I remember one thing that made me happy in my life. I count only the blessing of God not the uh, failure. I count only the, the, the blessing of God, not the failure. And so the happiness in my life as a priest that I always try to obey my superiors. And no matter how they have sent me to that parish, to that parish, whenever they send me to uh, I go. As it happened to the building. When I was in Nusla, I went to uh, Hakkar to retreat to Kalkitri. Then on the way, I get a phone call from Rajon Madhur. He said, Father, where are you? I said, I'm driving. Then he said, Father, can you put the vehicle on the road? Okay. Then the lead asked himself to reach Allah. To be Father Edwin, tomorrow, who is uh, Sunday, you will be at home. You see. Yes. How many masses you have? Uh, uh, to the center, to the Nankin Dam. They say, Father, tomorrow I will come to restore you. Okay. <laughs> In that day, the minister day when installation, after 50 people were against me. Why is Brother Edwin? So proud to get informed us. How can I inform them? Because I get the news just uh, just uh, nah, one day before day. I want to see in our in the in the place we are working, sometimes we, we misunderstand the people. That's awesome. But we just say we now then we now lose courage. So Say so again, say, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, my dear brother Prince, because you always are after us, you help us, and please continue to do. So may God bless you, all of you have come today, and so officially, may God bless our diocese in the leadership of our shop, Mr. Linda. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Father Edwin Ed, for your words. Wherever you went to work, you said, if people ask you which parish is the best, you have always said, all the parishes that you have worked uh, is a nice place. And I think that is the very good attitude that you have uh, demonstrated, shown, and in your whole life as, as a priest. Thank you very much for that, Edwin. Uh, I just read out the following programs so that you can be ready. After this, we'll have the, uh, a few words from Father Francis Parama, then a song from the Abjik Shai Choir, uh, a talk from Father Gerald Kongji on behalf of the Archdiocese, then we'll have the, the gifts, a presentation of the gifts from the Archdiocese by Archbishop, then from the Lady by Barnabas and Company, uh, gifts from the Dyson Fraternity, and then the Lecture of Father Pallas and Father Sebastian Carpopla, and a gift from the Cathedral Parish, then if there are others, and of course the word of thanks. Father Francis Karwanan was born on 27th November 1945 in Tandrong, Tandrong village, you all know, those days was under um, Cherapunji or Sora Parish. It was ordained on this same day in 1972. He has worked in many places as assistant priest, first in Manursla, later on became the parish priest there, and worked in Mokha as parish priest. Marpisu Cathedral, Markasa, Mauprem, then went to St. Paul Seminary and presently residing at St. John the 23rd Legion. Uh, in 1983 to 86 or so, he was also in Rome for his uh, licensure in liturgy from San Anselmo uh, University in Rome. And dear Father Francis, <coughs> we are very glad to be joining you in thanking God on this day. We now would like to invite Father to say to us a few words and we are all learning you our listening here.
year 1972, and the whole Archdiocese of Shillong was in the mood for celebrating the golden jubilee of the arrival of the Felician missionaries in Northeast India. It was the morning of the 18th November 1972. There were four ordinations that simultaneously took place in the Archdiocese of Shillong. These ordinations were at the cathedral by Archbishop Hubert de Rosario. Another was at Yen Ma Sacred Heart College by Bishop Orestes Marengo. Then at Maulai, the church at Maulai Parish by Bishop Stephen Ferrando. And at Mokha, if I'm not mistaken, it was by Bishop Mithadini or Bishop Robert Kataka. These ordinations they coincided with the Golden Jubilee celebration of the missionary activity by the Salishans in Northeast India, which culminated with a grand celebration at the Garrison Ground in the afternoon of the 18th November 1972. It is now 50 years since these two great events took place. We are overwhelmed with joy to have witnessed the completion of another 50 years of missionary activity by the Salishan's missionaries in Northeast India in the recently concluded centenary celebration. And here we are today witnessing another auspicious event. We are privileged and honored to have with us, celebrating their golden jubilee of their priestly ordination, two of the priests ordained on that morning, 18 November 1972. With gratitude to God, let us once again a hand of applause for Reverend Father Francis Carverland and Father Edwin Pink. Father Francis Carverland was the young deacon ordained in this magnificent cathedral. And Father Edwin Cahit was the young deacon ordained at Maulai Parish Church. We are privileged to have them still with us, Father Edwin celebrating the Mass, and just to hear words from Father Francis Karan Lang. Knowing he has, they both have advanced in age, but still, we are grateful to God, they are still with us, and we are celebrating, thanking God in gratitude for the golden years of their priestly life. Dear Reverend Father Francis Karvanlang and Reverend Father Edwin Kahit, on behalf of Archbishop Victor Lingdon, the Archdiocesan leadership, the priests, religious, and the lay faithful of the Archdiocese of Shillong, we congratulate you for completing 50 years of service as priests of God and at the, being at the service of the Archdiocese. Of Shillong. You have been at the service of the Archdiocese of Shillong in various capacities. You have been chancellors, both of them have been chancellors, you have been parish priests, assistant parish priests, professors, confessors, they have been, you have been in education, in construction of buildings, schools, churches, secretaries of schools, even managers, mechanics, most of the time, cooks, drivers, but above all, you have been pastors after the heart of Christ, the Good Shepherd. In fact, like St. Paul, you have become all things to all people for the sake of their salvation. For this, we raise our hearts and minds to God in gratitude for having given you to the Archdiocese of Shimon. <coughs> Understanding that the priesthood is the nerve center of the church's whole life and mission, we want to thank your parents, who at that time 
had the generosity to offer you to the church, uh, to God and the church. May God reward them their generosity. As we celebrate the golden jubilee of your priestly ordination, we stand in awe at the greatest reality of the priesthood, which is a mystery that is greater than man himself. Before such a reality, we are claimed with these words of St. Paul in Romans chapter 11, verses 33, how unsearchable are his judgments and how inscrutable his ways. We congratulate you for having matured in your priestly vocation in difficult situations. It matured amidst sufferings and difficulties. It matured in physical work. It also matured in experiences you have had. It matured in the relationship you have created with the superiors, with the bishop, and all the Archdiocesan leaders, with your peers, and especially the lay faithful to whom you served. May you find joy and comfort in the growth of the church, and especially in the faithful you have ministered for the last 50 years. As St. Paul in Philippians chapter 1, verse 6 says, May you grow ever deeper in the hope that the one who has begun this good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. May you continue to experience the joy of being priest in all that you do. Once again, congratulations and God bless. Thank you very much. If there are any others, you could also come up at this moment. Present your hands. The donor will not be back from the ice cream and the ice cream will not be back from the ice cream and the ice cream. Please show me the ice cream and the ice cream and the ice cream and the ice cream. Thank you one and all for those gifts. Uh, felicitation to our two jubilarians. Finally, we have one more item that is that is the vote of thanks, uh, and I call upon Father Krishan Karpuri to propose a vote of thanks. We express gratitude to the Archbishop for his guidance and his presence in this celebration and for delivering the homily during this holy mass. Thank 
your grace. We thank the Jubilarians, Father Edwin Kahit and Father Francis Karbalang, for accepting the arrangement of the Archdiocese to felicitate and appreciate them today in a special way. We thank the family members for their support and being here today, especially for assisting the Jubilarians in times of need. We wish to thank the organizing committee for all the arrangements. In particular, we thank Father Taiwan Lang Lindo for arranging the details of the whole program today. We thank Father Jimmy Maryam, Father Bernard Manu, Father Bajan Star Kunji, Father Punshai Lindo, Father Chiral Kunji, and all the organizing members. Your fathers, brothers, sisters, the family members of the children, well wishes and to all of your friends. On this auspicious day, we all have gathered here to celebrate the 50 golden years of praise of Reverend Father Ibn Kahe and Reverend Father Francis Kalama. We wish you, dear fathers, hearty congratulations on the good and jubilee of your new priestly ordination. And on this day, it is very a uh, big milestone. And therefore, we shall all put our hands together for the jubilee. We 
our Lord, that you bless all of us who are here to keep it in our vision. Victory, Lord, for Peter to be the anonymous walk instruments of the sharing your love to the people. And bless all the near and dear ones of fathers, Edwin and Francis, that they too may enjoy their life day by day. Bless the food which you have to partake, as we partake this food, as God we to grow in your love and in love of one another. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. May we have a Christmas. Thank you so much, Father, for the prayers. Now I go on the second day to present the gift to the children. Okay. 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 Okay.